happy people. Welcome to Kim Biz Crafts. My name is Kim and if you're new here, hello, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back guys, love you. So I just put this down because the spotlights are getting on my nerves. Like they're killing my vibe. But anyway, I'm here with a PR package from DIY Digital Arts. And this is the company that I did the K for. So if you've been watching my channel um, and you've seen my letter K diamond painting, this is the company that I got it from. Um, so they asked me to pick out some more products if I would like to show you guys. And I said, I love to show products. Absolutely. So here is what I chose. I'm sorry about the like shadowing. So these are the things I chose. What's the first thing I got? It's a box. What's in the box? Oh, I did that already, didn't I? <laughs> so this is a foldable box. It is, we, you just diamond paint the front here. And this box is $9.25. I thought it was so cute. Let's take a look at it here. Oh my goodness. How stinking cute is this thing? Okay, so here's the bottom. You just open it and just pop that on the bottom there. How cute is that? I mean, you can put you can put this on your desk and put all kinds of things in here. This is so cute or just put it on a shelf. I love it. And let's see here. So the sticky is just where the, the gems will go. It's not even on the brown part. That is very cool. It's not even on the brown part of the owl. They're so cute. So you get with this a basic tool kit. Here are your diamonds. There's not a whole lot to do here. It would work up very quickly and then you'd have the cutest box ever. They're all rhinestones. So we got red, orange, green, lime green, dark green, purple, blue. This is like a topaz, burnt orange. And then we got these big circular diamonds. And then these teardrop orange ones, teardrop diamonds, and mini teardrop diamonds. Very pretty. I'm gonna put that stuff right in there. They had other ones too. So if you want a collection of them, to put like on a bookshelf. Okay, what else did we get in here? Okay, yes. So this is a wind chime. This wind chime was $5.50. Okay, so you do diamond paint both sides, it's sticky on this side and it's sticky on this side. Now the pattern is printed on this side, but you do the pattern what you see through the plexiglass on the other side. It's not actually printed on this side. I don't know if you can tell that in the video or if it looks printed on this side because it doesn't look printed in real life. But they're sticky on both sides. They come through very clearly on both sides. So yeah, very cool. And then, okay, how do we do this? So it comes with this basic tool kit and then inside the tool kit is a bunch of things. So there's no instructions. Okay, so there's all these little rings. 
I guess, to like put everything so. So there's all these little rings. Oh, we, we have a little, little gem thing there. And then there's these two things. So I don't know if it's so you can make it longer. Okay, no, so some of it hangs off of, so these hang off of it. Oh, I see. So there's three of these things. So they hang off of it. So it would look like, it'll look like this. When you put it all together, he's gonna look like this. You're gonna have the long one in the middle, then the two short ones, and you're gonna have these hanging off of that. Let me move him up again. I wanna keep you zoomed in. So we're gonna have it like this. So this is like, this is diamond painting with some arts and crafts here. And then you put that there, okay. And then this is the chain. And that's why there's so many of those that you attach up here. And there's a there's two holes, one on each each ear. And so it'll go like this. And it'll hang like that. Very cute. All right, let me put all of these pieces back so we can put them together when we're ready. And I'm going to start doing some of these projects. So that'll be one of my, so that'll be one of my goals too. And then here's the drills. So again, they're rhinestones. So we have yellow, silver, red, blue, aqua. And then we have these teardrop iridescent baby blue powder blue ones okay and yeah that's it so he was again he was 550 i guess you can see like in case you were wondering i i love owls <laughs> i do love my owls and you know what i'm gonna put i'm gonna put him right in here Thank you, Owl Box. Okay, and then I got a little accessory kit here. This accessory kit I got mainly for, I was curious about this. Now it's, uh, it is extremely small. It's much smaller than I was expecting or than it looked. But this, is, this was only $2.75, so can't be mad about that. And I was, I was, Wondering what this looked like. So there's 12 spaces. So this would be good for like a project like the owl and not much else. Or like, honestly, I don't really know. And then also inside, there's just accessories. Um, the plastic tweezers. The four diamond painting pens and a huge plate of wax, pink wax. But yeah, I, I really just wanted to see, cause you know, I love my storage. I really just wanted to see what this was all about. And it's much smaller than I was, I was picturing in my head. But you know, there's always a use for everything. 
And this is going in my owl box. All right, and then we have a diamond painting because guys, we are diamond painters. <laughs> We're gonna put him in the background. All right, this feels heavy. This feels really heavy. Let's see what we got here. This diamond painting was $8.25. It feels awful. This is very heavy. What is in here? Ooh, a pumpkin. Wow, it's kind of big. These drills are packed so nice. Look at that. I'll tell you what, these budget friendly companies are getting their they're getting their stuff like on point. Okay. So I would iron this. I honestly don't have a mattress to put my things between that I don't sleep on. So, or that doesn't get slept on. There's no spare bedroom in my house. So, um, I would, I would have to put it like underneath books or something like that. But yeah, I got this Halloween gnome. This is big. It's 50 by 35. It's a round diamond painting. We'll, we'll measure it in a second. There's 24 colors and it is super cute. And if you're wondering if these hats are gonna come through, can you see, you can see them in the camera because it's, it's brown around them. We'll look at the colors to make sure, okay? But let's see what it measures. Let's see what it measures. Where's my trusty pug? Okay, so the, the drill field measures. Forty-five. Forty-five by thirty. I love it. So we have three gnomes. We have two two pumpkins in the front, and then we have some spooky pumpkins in the back. And we have a cauldron here with some green bubbly stuff. And he's so cute with his little striped hat. <laughs> Let me um let me, I hate to ruin this. This is packed perfectly. This is like a premium diamond painting company packed drill, packed, packed, set of drills. Okay, so let's just, let's not try to mess it up too much, but I'm guessing this is the 310. 310 is W and it's number two and this is number two. So W is, huh, you know, the witch hat is not going to, it's going to blend right in the background. That's weird. I don't think that this is supposed to be all W's over here. Let's look at this. You see how the colors are different? The colors are different, but it's all W. I'm going to have to email them about that. And then over here, it's not. Well, yeah, it is. But down there, it's like D and B. And then it's just W. But here it's D and B. Hmm. I would probably change some of it if I was a because it's clearly not supposed to be black. It's clearly not. Like you can see the black and then you can see the brown. What's B? Oops. Oops. Wow, that was aggressive. What's B? B is three three seven one, which is number twenty. Oh, it's this one. Well, that's not enough. It looks black anyway. 
You'll be able to see it a little, tell the difference a little bit. So honestly, I might change that a little bit. I might change the background to a little more brown around the hats so that they come through. But I don't have to worry about that till next Halloween. Wait a minute, let me put his tongue away. <laughs> but yeah, I think otherwise it is really cute. But yeah, I would definitely go around this with What is, what's D, 938? Let's just look at D. D is 938 and that's number 15. I'm just going to this one. Um, probably in my lighting, it doesn't look very brown, but it, it, it is. Yeah, this one should go around all of them, to be honest with you. But, yeah. I don't know, guys. Other than that, I think it's really cute. But I do think that there needs to be some tweaking of the colors over here. And making this more of a, a brown background so that the hats really come through. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. So we have the owl box, which was 925. We have the accessory kit, which was 275. And honestly, this to me is a miss. This was a hit. The wind chime, which was 550, I think was really cute and a hit. I, I'm going to hang it up in my craft room. And then this one, which honestly, we'll have to see how we can make these Halloween hats kind of um, stand out. Because you don't want to get them lost in the mix. But otherwise, very cute. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up on the way out. And if you want to see more from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family and friends here at Kimba's Crafts. I would love to have you guys. You have a wonderful, wonderful night. Take care. Keep diamond painting.